But I want you to imagine for a second that these two cups represent your balls. And this water right here represents your body's testosterone. While this line represents your blood testosterone levels. And we have to understand that testosterone throughout the day starts here and then decreases. And then we go to bed, we wake up, they're renormalized. All at the same time, while our estrogen over here, which is represented by pink, testosterone aromatizes into estrogen. So the levels are going to be complementary. Not the exact same, but complementary. And this line represents your natural estrogen levels. Now, most important part, the straw represents luteinizing hormone, which is secreted by the pituitary portion of the brain, telling our balls to produce more of this clear stuff, also known as natural testosterone. Okay, now imagine for a second that you take a pro-hormone, specifically a wet compound, so a 4-andro, like Androdeal, Androbolic 250, Sustanon 250, 4-andro, or Monsterplex, okay, which is all represented by the blue water. It's Gatorade. And every week, you're going to continue to take the pro-hormone, so it's going to slowly saturate week one, week two, week three, week four. So our testosterone levels are higher, and we're starting to feel really good here. It's fully saturated into the body. This is where we feel like a beast in the gym. Well, at the same time that's happening, estrogen is going up as well. And we're feeling great. We're feeling really good. Even with a little higher estrogen, maybe we're taking some aromastain to keep it down a little bit, but we can run a little higher. Here's the problem. Week eight rolls around, then what? Well, our testosterone levels start to plummet. The question is why? Keep plummeting. <laughs> the question is why? Well, the luteinizing hormone is weakened. And when this weakens, our body's natural testosterone shuts off because, well, we were already getting enough from the pro-hormone that we no longer have in our body. So our testosterone levels are low. This is shut down. All at the same time, our estrogen levels continue to stay high. And estrogen, by the way, on a blood test is known as estradiol. So you'll see this go up as the cycle continues. This is where things get interesting. We need to do something about this. We've got high estrogen and low testosterone with a weak luteinizing hormone. Though complete signal loss is quite rare when taking a pro-hormone. This is just a friendly reminder that we must protect the automated systems in our body that guard our health. So luteinizing hormone, or LH, as seen on a blood test. You'll see this number go down as your cycle continues to the end of your cycle. And LH is a fertility marker that we must have in the normal reference ranges when we want to have a child because this will allow our sperm to be mobile and properly shaped. We need a PCT to reduce estrogen and increase natural testosterone and repair this guy. So here's a look at the three most popular PCT products. PCTV by Blackstone Labs, Postgear by 5% Nutrition, and Arimaplex by High Tech Pharmaceuticals. So to focus on just the ingredients that matter to us, we're gonna compare each product against the five supplement categories that we really need post-cycle. A test booster, an anti-estrogen, a DHT blocker, a liver and cardiovascular support, and a prostate support. So starting with PCTV by Blackstone Labs, which is five ingredients, the fewest of the three, it is loaded to the gills with a test booster called Tribulus at 250 milligrams. Tribulus is a very popular ingredient thrown into a lot of test boosters. And while some studies show that it may increase testosterone, there are just as many studies showing that there's no evidence at all. And it has a healthy dose of 37.5 milligrams of the estrogen blocker arimistane, which I'm sure you're aware of, which is also known as Androsta-3. And unfortunately, there are no effective DHT blocking ingredients in here. It has 125 milligrams of NAC, which is effective for liver support, 160 milligrams of sal palmetto extract, which has been scientifically shown to improve cardiovascular breathing, as well as support the prostate. And the cheapest price point I could find for PCTV was $44.99 on gotprotein.com. As for Postgear by 5% Nutrition, with the most ingredients of the three at 14, it provides a heavy dose of a testosterone booster, diasporic acid, at 3,120 milligrams, which has increased plasma testosterone levels in male rodents, but no evidence in humans. So big dose, but not concrete enough. However, it also contains 300 milligrams of long jack extract, which is shown in multiple studies with a dose at just 200 milligrams that it does in fact increase blood testosterone levels in humans. So our test booster is covered here. And in terms of an anti-estrogen, the 500 milligrams of Brassiopsis glomerulata extract is legit and has shown through blood work at just 350 milligrams that it can't actually be as powerful as a prescription AI. So our anti-estrogen is covered. 
And just in case you need to block estrogen even further, it also includes 300 milligrams of DIM, which is also a well-studied anti-estrogen. It has stinging nettle as a heavily studied DHT blocker, and it's well-dosed. For liver support, it has the tried and true milk thistle at 200 milligrams, again, well-dosed. And stinging nettle is also known to improve our breathing. So our cardiovascular support is covered. And there's evidence that suggests that zinc plays a role in prostate health. But the results of the studies aren't consistent enough. But here we go again, stinging nettle to come in to tighten up the slack so our prostate is in fact covered. And the lowest price that I could find here was at bestpricenutrition.com for $54.99. And lastly, we have probably the most well-known PCT product here, Arumaplex. With ingredient number in the middle of the other two products at 11 ingredients, it has the same test booster we saw earlier, 167 milligrams of Trivulus, which is less than Blackstone Labs PCTV. And again, more evidence is required here. And though not a testosterone supporting ingredient, fenugreek extract does help with libido. Fenugreek, fen, fenugreek. We also see a healthy dose of arimistane at 37.5 milligrams. So your estrogen blocker is covered while the dosage of stinging nettle extract covers the DHT blocker. And we see milk thistle again here at 360 milligrams. And though the milligrams aren't listed for NAC, it doesn't take much. They both offer great liver support. And our prostate support is covered here as well by saw palmetto. And the lowest price that I could find for Aromaplex was obviously bestpricenutrition.com for $49.99. So looking at them all against one another, my ultimate recommendation, and I cannot believe I'm about to say this because it's the only one that hits all five categories sufficiently, is Post Gear by 5% Nutrition. And I personally would use this only if I was running one to two pro hormones. But if you want to overachieve, and I think you should, or you're running a pro hormone stack with three pro hormones, I would move forward with Arimaplex, which will run you about $50. And because it doesn't have sufficient test boosting capabilities, for just $20 more, toss in Tonkata Lee by Nootropics Depot. So that'll run you about $70. And yes, a reputable brand matters here. So go ahead and toss that in the description. I know this information is super thick, but it is so important that we understand this, especially as we start to add in more and more pro hormones. Next week, we resume right where we left off with our pro hormone breakdown schedule with Trinobol. Until then, stay safe and stay swole, my brothers. King. Not bad. I could do better, but not bad.